hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a user profile with animation here you can see a user image and when we click on this image it display the user's information and close icon user image and close icon moves in the opposite direction when we click on the close icon then user image and close icon comes back to the original position and hide the user's detail this image and icon moves with a smooth animation that we will make using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start the video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one image for the user. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added the margin padding, font family and box sizing. In this HTML file I have added this title and this link tag to connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code within the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name user and inside this div we will add the image with the img tag write the file path after that we will add another div with the class name info and in this one we will add the user's name in h1 tag then we will add some text in p tag then we will add another text in p tag where we will add the location of the user and in the next line we will add one link with the a tag and here we will add the link text connect with me after adding this come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this image then user's name and description and one link after that we will come back and copy this class name user write it here in the css file now for this user we will add the CSS properties like width, fit content, then margin, 150 pixel and auto so that it will be horizontally center and display flex. After that come back. Now you can see it is here in the center. Again come back to the CSS file. Here we will add dot user then img. For this image we will add the width and cursor pointer. Then we will add the border radius 10 pixel to make the corners round. and Position will be relative Z index 100. Let's add the box shadow for the image. After that, you can see the changes in this image. Now, again come back and here we have the class name info. Now we will add the CSS for this info div. Here we will add the padding to add some space. Then again add this class name and here we will add the H1. Here we will add the font size for the user's name text. Then we will add the font weight. You can see the increased size for the user's name. Again come back to the CSS file. Here we will add info and p tag. For this p tag we will add the line height. Again write this class name and then we will write the a for the link. Here we will add the background one color code. Then we will add the color white. Then font size and text decoration will be none. Display will be inline block and here we will add some space inside the button. So we will add the padding then border radius and margin from the top. After adding this again come back to the website and you can see this button looks good. Next we will add the color here and we will make it bold so come back and here we will add a span tag and close this span here. After this INC. After that we will add the CSS for the span so come back to the CSS file. Here we will add info span. Then we will change the color and we will change the font weight. Now you can see it is in the different color. Next we will add one cross icon. Let's come back. After closing up this div we will add another div with the class name close icon. Next we will add the CSS for this close icon, write this class name here and here we will add the width, it will be 320 pixel and we will add the cursor pointer 
and position will be relative. Now again write this class name and here we will add double colon before and again write the class name and after. Here we will add the content empty then let's add the height it will be 100% and width will be very small 2 pixel. Then we will add the background color here and position will be absolute top it will be 0 and left 50% and it will move left by 1 pixel so it will be in the center so you will see a line here so actually we have two lines overlapping each other so let's come back and here we will add the first one then we will add transform rotate 30 degree so it will rotate the line by 30 degree now you can see one line has been rotated let's come back and duplicate this line and here we will add after and rotate minus 30 degree so another line will rotate minus 30 so it looks like a cross icon or close icon next we have to hide the details and close icon for that let's come back to the html file and here with this user class name we will add one more class name hide details next we will add the css according to this class name hide details so come back to the css file here we will add hide details and then we will add dot info for this info we will add transform translate x 50 pixel it will move right by 50 pixel then we will add the opacity 0 so it will be hidden and originally here we have info so in this one we will add the same thing transform translate x it will be 0 pixel and opacity 1 and let's add the transition transform 1 second and opacity 1 second so it will take 1 second to change the translate x and opacity so you can see it is hidden next we have to move the close icon and the image at the same position let's come back and again write this hide details then write close icon for this close icon we have to move it in the left side so we will add transform translate x minus 400 and 10 pixel so it will move left and here we will add the another css for the image and here we will add transform translate x 400 and 10 pixel so it will move right let's add the box shadow here here we will add the box shadow after that come back to the website and you can see we have only image the close icon is hidden behind the image next we have to display it with animation so just come back and here we will add the script open and closing tag and in this div we will add one id let's add the id user box and we will add the variables here let user box equal to document.get element by id user box that we have created right now and then in this image we will add on click we have to click on this image so here we will add open info and we have to close the information by clicking on the cross icon so here we will add on click equal to close info so we have open info and close info so here in this script we will add function open info and write this variable user box dot class list dot remove and here we will remove that class name hide details so whenever we will remove that class name the information will be visible again duplicate this one and here we will change it as close info and write add here so it will add that hide details class name to hide the information after adding this again come back to the website if i click here you can see these information are visible and cross icon is visible if i click on cross icon the image is visible other details are hidden so right now it is hiding the details immediately so let's come back and we will add some transition come to the css file and in this image we will add transition transform one second and box shadow also one second write a comma here next we will add the transition in close icon so here it is in this close icon 
let's add transition transform once again after adding this again come back to the website now you can see if i click on the image it will move left side and the cross icon moves right side and it will display the user's information like name information and button and if i click on cross icon it will hide the information we can only see the user profile image so finally we have completed this user profile card with animation using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one Thank you so much for watching this video.